Hey ghouls and monsters, I'm Lauren aka Rowan and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'll be taking a look at the Hunt Could Hawk Claudine Wolf doll. So without further ado, let's get to it. You know, I thought Grey Bobbin was, you know, illegal. Oh, it is, it is. But my cousin Claudine likes to make a grand entrance. And this is a grand entrance? Yep. Okay then. Well, before we get caught with a coffin, let's uh, hurry up and meet your cousin. Yeah. Good idea, girl. Good idea. Okay then. So before Luna and Minimi gets caught, Grave Robin, let's have a look at Claudine's box. It's a Beautiful combination of black and purple, two of my favourite colours, so of course I would like it. <laughs> As you can see, there's loads of like Claudine signature skeletons. So there's one here and the one there. Um, there's crescent moons all over it. And here's one with her ears and a headband. Um, this one here represents her jacket. I really like the design of Claudine's box. You know it's... You know it's hers, without a doubt. Um, this part here feels like a, a faux leather, but it isn't. I think it's like a very good quality um, cardboard design. Here at the top you see there's purple moons, or purple faces of the moons. In the middle here we have um, the Monster High logo. To the left we've got a wolf paw print, and to the right we have a uh, purple um, crossbones. It says Honk Contour under the Monster High logo, and there's Claudine's skeleton right there. Okay, spoiler alert. I am um, kind of uh, maybe um, already unboxed her. <laughs> um, she arrived during Easter, and um, I just couldn't wait to get her open. I'm sorry, ghouls. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, <sighs> I just couldn't wait. I hope you guys. Can I can I understand, or you know, you girls and, get, and monsters understand my um pure excitement. But as you can see, <laughs> um, well, this side of the box, Claudine would have been in. Um, I'll insert a picture of what she would have looked like. Looked like, sorry. Um, so as you can see, I've left her hairbrush in the box. I kind of figure she doesn't really need it, so I leave it there. Um. This side is her diary. That's also where you're going to find her certificate of authenticity. This glary bit of plastic there is the um, dust cover they put over. So if you wish to keep her in the box, you can. And speaking of her certificate of authenticity, here it is. Um, she was created by... Now, I am going to butcher this name, and I am really, really sorry. Um... So this, so Claudine was designed by Glenda Chow Chu. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. <sighs> I am so sorry. I, I, I can't pronounce some names, and I'm having difficulty with this one. But I think Glenda did a really good job at designing Claudine. <laughs> anyway, you've heard enough of my rambling. Let's move on to actually meeting her, shall we? And this is what Claudine looks like when she's in the box. When she's in the box, as you can see, she's um, holding her handbag and she's wearing her coat. Now, you can't really get her one the stand while she's wearing her coat, hence why I did the um, one shoulder look. But before we actually look at Claudine, um, the back of her certificate of authenticity has a little message from Claudine and it reads... Hey, ghoul, we've got so much to catch up on, including that outfit choice. Excuse you, madam. Ah, oh, dear. But we'll talk about that later. Fear is asleep there. It's been like 100, 124 moons or so since we last fanged out. Of course, I'm still the fiercest fashionista to creep the halls of Monster High. Doesn't this clawsome look just make you want to scream? Cleo didn't know my arch fashion rival is going to completely unravel when she sees this furious jacket 
or various jacket paired with these this leather skirt and howl in open toe heels. It's a stroke of fashion genius. Can't wait to to see how many screeches I get on my blog when the ghouls see this freaky fab look. Always a scream catching up with you. Now, can we talk about those shoes? Again, seriously. <laughs> now let's take a look at this cheeky, sassy ghoul. Um, I absolutely love, love her facial screening. Her hair is be so beautiful and soft. Um, underneath, she's got these pink highlights, although I do wish her a purple, but that's just my personal preference. Um, she's wearing this really cool spiked headband. She's got like this line of purple um, studs on one ear, and she's got her classic gold hoops on the other. Again, her face. Oh, look at that. Oh, look in the camera now. Her face is just gorgeous. <clears throat> and she has this um, gold necklace with a crescent moon choker at the top there. I love this black and gold mesh top. Underneath it, I think she's wearing a gold and pink top. I've not really understood how to have a full look. Her fur coat, or her faux fur coat, shall I say, is pink and purple. Um, we'll see her deep purple leather skirt. Oh, I'm going to say pleather. Yeah, it's definitely pleather skirt. Um, I love that they upcycled her handbag. I do wish it was fabric, but again, that's a, just a personal preference on my part. Um, she's wearing these really big chunky rings. This one says monster, and the other one I think is a bracelet. Yeah, so dig a close look at that. Really cool. Um, and then her shoes. Thank you, camera. Focus on the shoes. Are oh, absolutely beautiful. Love her little lace sock details. So yeah, absolutely stunning, isn't she? We'll point out that her arm joint has the um reboot joint, which I think is actually a very good idea because I think this is like a much sturdier, stronger joint and if Mattel mass produces these joints you know just to sell for spare parts I think many of us who have got the uh, Monster High reboot dolls could um fix up our dolls that haven't got any limbs I think that come in handy <laughs> most definitely Ooh. when I was going over Claudine's clothes I forgot to mention that her coat has this lime green um line lining to it that's the one it's like a satiny material um i don't recall her previous like original dolls having lime green in her i think she was mainly purple but i think lime green was introduced with the reboot so i'm pretty happy that they kept the lime green with her color scheme as well as her original color scheme it's very interesting um colors to pair together Claudine does, of course, come with a stand. It has a clear back and a clear waist clip. And the bottom of her stand is like this metallic um, li lilac, lavender-y purple. Kind of looks a bit pinkish on the camera. And it does say Monster High in the middle there. It's like the other stands except for it's the base is metallic. So, yeah, that's the stand. Um... I am pretty happy that they included a doll stand. I mean, why wouldn't they? She's a collector's doll, but we all know what Mattel can be like with the lack of doll stands that they supply. Overall, I am very happy with this ghoul. I absolutely adore her. Claudine is one of my favourite characters, so I'm so glad to have her in my collection. Um, I will just say a quick thing. When you get her out of the box, this bag is elastic elasticated elastic banded to her hand but i thought it weighed her down too much so that's why i've made it cross body instead which i think is a much cuter look in my opinion of course um the, the only gripe i have is with her knee joints they're not as firm as what i would have liked them to be for a collector doll but there you go 
But overall, I am really happy with this Claudine doll and I cannot wait until I receive Frankie and Dracula from this line. And that, goes brings us to the end of this video. Um, so yeah, what, what did you guys think of Claudine? I absolutely love her. Um, please remember, if you like this video, please leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe with notifications on so you know when I next upload. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye!